Hi everyone. As we get ready for our first Word Masters challenge um, quiz, I wanted to go over just a couple tips that I have to help you be successful uh, in the quiz that's coming up this week. Um, first, just some basic keys to success. Rewatch the Word Masters 1.1 video the night before. Um, I mean, I think it's literally 10 to 15 minutes of your time and I think it will definitely go a long way in helping you understand how to use the words um, and, and it will serve as a nice refresher. Study the flashcards that you made. Um, you made them for a reason. You should be looking at them every night and mastering a few words each night. Um, quiz each other. I think it's great when you have downtime. I always feel encouraged when I see kids quizzing each other during homeroom um, or any downtime that you might have in a class. Um, and I, I think that goes a long way. Use the Quizlet. That's The link is now available on Headline. Um, I think it's a fantastic resource with the games and the quizzes that you can create for yourself. And watch this video. In this video, we're going to focus on um, how to write really good, high-quality sentences with your vocabulary that will get you full credit on a quiz. And more importantly, it will demonstrate that you understand how to use the word. And it will make you feel like this kid. Um, remember, very, very important that for each word you need to know all of the parts of speech. So is it a noun? Is it a verb? Is it an adjective? You need to know all of the definitions that come with that word. And you also need to know how to use each word in a descriptive, detailed sentence. So don't forget all of these very, very important things as you prepare um, for the quiz. Let's move on and talk about sentences real quick. Your sentences um, will be scored. You will be asked to write at least between three to five sentences um, with words that I give you. Um, and here's how we score the sentences. They're scored on a scale of zero points all the way up to two points. And we obviously want to start up here. And two means that the sentence uses the word correctly with details. The context clues help the readers figure out the definition. So in other words, you've used details and you've given us enough that even if we didn't know the word exactly, we could use com uh, context clues to infer the word. Um, a one-point sentence means the sentence uses the word correctly, but it's lacking detail. Um, it might be maybe a, a three or four word sentence that doesn't really show the definition of the word. It just uses the definition properly. But it's lacking in detail to help your readers kind of see the definition. <laughs> and a zero is the sentence does not use the word in the correct part of speech. Um, and or provides no detail to help the reader figure out the definition. I will give you, for for example, right here, this part about right part of speech. If you use a word that is a noun and you try to use it as a verb, um, that doesn't work. And that will get you an, an automatic zero for that sentence. So let's take a look at a few and I'll explain my scoring. So this first one says, my idea was quashed. Now, if I had no idea what quashed was, there's a pretty good idea, a pretty good chance rather, I wouldn't know after the sentence. Um, it's a very short sentence, it doesn't provide any context. So if I were scoring this, I would give that a one point. Now if I were to fix it, here's how I might fix it. Even though I love the project idea, my group didn't agree with me and quashed it pretty quickly. So here this introductory phrase, this even though part, explains the background that it involved the um, the person who's narrating the sentence presenting an idea. And the group didn't like it, so they quashed it. And from this, I'd be able to figure out the quash means like rejected or said no to. So that's why I would give it a one, but this is how it could become a two. The boy waywarded his way into a detention. Wayworded is not a word. Um, wayward is an adjective, and it, you can't add ed to make it a verb, so that would be zero. If I still wanted to use it in a similar way, here's what I could do. The wayward young man couldn't keep his hands to himself, which earned him detention on a Friday afternoon. So here we've talked about this is a kid that couldn't resist an impulse to... Um, have his hand somewhere else where they shouldn't be um, and it earned him a detention on Friday afternoon. With this I can figure out that wayward might be kind of hard to control, uh, maybe like a misbehavior kind of situation. Um, so that's a zero and here's how you can make it into a two.
The coach was screaming at the referee for missing an egregious foul. It was right in front of him. So we know the definition of egregious is like obvious or blatant or right there. Um, and I think by adding this part about it was right in front of him, it's easy to see um, that the word egregious means like obvious or blatant. So I would give this a two. It would get full credit um, for adding enough detail there. So once again, here are the um, here's the scoring guide that we will use for your sentences. Remember to study all the words. Remember to follow the tips for success. And um, best of luck.